AI, artificial intelligence is taking over the photography world. And if it's 2024 and you are not using AI yet, you are falling behind. Hey, I'm Tia and welcome to our channel. My husband Cameron and I are wedding photographers in Minneapolis, Minnesota who love bringing business advice and photography tips and tricks to you every single Thursday. So here's the deal. AI has been around the block for a while, but just last year, AI started really taking a hold on photographers and the photography industry as a whole. So I'm going to go through today four tools that you need to be using to be able to elevate and streamline your photography business. Number one, Aftershoot. Aftershoot is a game-changing tool that uses AI to both call and edit for photographers. The amount of time that Aftershoot can save you is absolute insanity. Not only can it get rid of all of those endless, dreadful hours where you are going through image by image and selecting the best possible result for your client, but it can just condense that to a couple seconds, a few minutes, that it can call through an entire session as you literally run to the kitchen, grab a snack, and you're back. It's called. Now, that's not to say that you don't still need a human touch to go in, make sure that it didn't miss anything, maybe fine tune your selection, change based off of personal preferences, but it's taking a huge chunk of the time that typically took that task out of the equation. Aftershoot is also a tool that can edit for you. So it can get trained and it trains your profile by uploading tons and tons of catalogs and it learns all of your preferences and then it will go through and it will edit entire galleries for you. Again, same with culling, you're still gonna need to go through and tweak or fine tune from there, but it's taking a lot of the grunt work out of the equation and allowing you to just put your touch onto things. We've been using Aftershoot for about a year now and it has been absolutely game changing for our business. If you want to see us in action, both culling and editing, I'm going to pop the culling video up above so you can literally see us in action. You can see the program running, Cam is explaining everything that we're doing. And then we have the same thing for editing where you can walk through and you're going to see us edit a senior session with Aftershoot and the results that it creates immediately. It is crazy. Tool number two, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a large language model. Basically, you can input a question or tell it to do something, tell it to write up something, and it's going to have a complete answer for you. So we could tell it, go ahead, draft me a 300 word blog post for Allie and Jason's engagement session. It was at this park and they brought their dog named this and we did this, they canoed during it or anything like that. And it's gonna draft up that entire 300 word blog post for you. You can also ask it questions and it's going to scour the internet. It's going to search and search to find the answers for you. Now, something that's important is that you want to continue to give and give more and more information to get the best possible output. So as with everything AI, just like Aftershoot that we were just talking about, the more catalogs that you upload, the more that it's going to learn. So here in ChatGPT, I want to not only say, give me this blog post, I want to give it our brand adjective. So can you write it in a fun, flirty, exciting tone. That's going to get closer and closer to what I would want the blog post to look like. So continue to give it more and more information to get really close to that output that you're desiring. Now here's a fun tip. If you tell ChatGPT, because you're just going to input whatever question in there or whatever command in there, if you say, hey, I'll give you a $200 tip to give me a better answer or the more perfect solution, it's actually proven currently that it'll give you a more in-depth or a longer answer, which is just kind of a fun tip. Obviously, you're not actually giving it any sort of money. This is a free platform. While there is a paid version, I love the free version. I think that the free version is really comprehensive. You don't actually need to pay ChatGPT anything. Now, just off at the top of my head, here are some things that you could be using ChatGPT for. Drafting up email templates or drafting up responses to tricky client situations or tricky client questions. Drafting up blog posts, like I mentioned. Drafting up social media captions. Drafting up, drafting up social media plans like, hey, I'm leading up to this huge launch. When would you post and what would you post? There are also a lot of personal use cases, which is going to allow you to save more time in your personal life to give you more time to devote to your business if desired. For example, drafting up a meal plan and having it list your entire grocery list in order to purchase everything that you need for that meal plan. Or creating an agenda for a party or researching gifts for your children for Christmas. 
things like that, it's going to be able to pop out answers really fast that, yeah, you could have researched, you could have searched it and typed it into Google, explored all of the links, explored the blog posts, explored the resources, but ChatGPT can do that in a second. It can search everything, it can summarize everything, and that is really, really awesome. One more idea is I love to use it to summarize things. So if I am wanting to research something, or if I see this huge article and I just want to get the main points out of it, I can copy all of that text, pop it in ChatGPT, and tell it to summarize it to the main bullet points for me. Boom, done. That is amazing. Tool number three is a tool called Descript. Now, Descript is a video platform, and what you can do is you'll upload a video to Descript. So this could be, let's, for example, pretend that I'm making a reel. We know that video is the champion of social media right now, and so I know as a photographer, you're wanting to create lots of video. So that video that you're gonna have as a reel, you upload to Descript, and Descript is automatically going to populate an entire script from it. So it is insane. I could just talk to the camera like this, I could pop it into Descript, and it's gonna auto-populate that entire script. Now from there, I can just have it remove all of my ums or uhs. There's literally a toggle that I can switch on and it's going to remove all those. Crazy. So that gets rid of your need to like reshoot and reshoot and reshoot until you get the absolute perfect take. You can just have Descript remove that from there. You can also edit with that text. So if I knew that I said something a couple times over, I was like a couple times over, a couple times over, I'm gonna see that in the script. If I highlight the first a couple times over, press delete, it cuts that out of the video. Crazy. So this is really game changing for anyone who has trouble talking on video and you need multiple takes. Descript can help you with that. Now, the other thing that Descript can do that I love to use is something called dynamic text. So it will then populate that text on the screen with your video. I think there's two huge benefits to this. First, accessibility. In an age where we want to be able to be accessible to as many people as possible, this allows us to do that. People who may have hearing disabilities are then able to just read along with the screen, with what I am saying. It also helps those who are just scrolling and don't turn on the volume. You know, you're scrolling while watching TV or you're scrolling while just hanging out. You're able to then still follow along, which is going to help your personal engagement. The more people that watch and hang around, and those people can watch and hang around that don't have their volume on, that is going to help your personal engagement on those Instagram reels. I also think the dynamic text just makes it more engaging. It's also gonna help just people in general hang around because they can follow along, they can see the text popping up. It just adds something to the video. So Descript is really awesome for all of your video needs. Okay, number four is something called ManyChat. And we're gonna consider ManyChat a bonus because ManyChat technically is an AI, but it is an automation which I think falls in this category. ManyChat is a DM, let's call it bot. Now, you might hear bot and you're like, girl, I am not interested in bots on Instagram, like that sounds awful, but mini chat is game changing for engagement. So what happens is I can create a flow, an automation on my back end, where if someone DMs me a certain word, so for example, they DM me pricing, me, as a wedding photographer, I want to get back to them, boom, in a flash. We know how important that is, and so if I can get them a pricing guide ASAP, that is going to be game-changing compared to my other photographer competitors that require an actual human to respond with a pricing guide. That might take them 24, 48, you know, 72 hours, and I can beat them to it with an instant reply. And so I can take that and they DM pricing, and then on my back end, I lay out an entire workflow that sends them an instant reply that says, hey, awesome, we're so excited to hear from you and we're so excited that you wanna learn about our pricing. Here's our pricing guide right here. And then they reply and I then maybe have it trigger something where it says, oh, you're ready to schedule a consult? Perfect, here's a link to our calendar where you can set up a consult, it's just a 30 minute Zoom, and all of this is automated. See how game changing that can be, that it can just get them the information that they need ASAP. It can get people booking instantly, which in this age of, Amazonification, where people want instant replies, people want instant pur purchases. They know that they want this random thing, they can go to Amazon, type it in, and they can get it in two days. So this gets people the answers that they need quickly. It is so, so awesome. And I know a lot of people that are using ManyChat, including us, have seen engagement skyrocket, which is so powerful. So that's it. What questions do you have? Drop them in the comment section down below. We love to chat through any of these tools, any more that you're exploring. Have there been other AI tools that have been super powerful for you that I didn't mention? Drop them in the comment section. Let's chat. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye.